Hi, I'm DJ Valentine. This is Store. We're being forced against our will to talk about a movie called A Boy and His Dog. Now, for the record, when I was told I was going to be explaining a movie with a dog in it, I was hoping for something like John Wick or Cujo, fucking Benji. But I got this, so damn you, Matthew Stewart, for picking this film. Damn you. So the movie starts with a bang. No, literally, like nine or ten nuclear explosions happen. From World War IV, we've <laughs> skipped right over three. And uh, it's 2024, and the world is fucked. Proper fucked. And we're following this scavenger named Vic, played by Don Miami motherfucking Vice Johnson. So Vic is running up on these desert wasteland people, but he's getting instructions, which you think is from an earpiece or a, a radio. But he's getting like like Navy SEAL-like instructions, like hold, you know, you don't move, you know, go left, go right, blah, 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 shit like that. But then you find out that the instructions he's getting is from his friend Blood, his dog. A talking fucking dog. Mind you, this is three minutes in, and we already have talking dogs. Now, Vic, dog calls him Albert just to fuck with him, is looking for some ass. Seriously looking for some ass. Like, he finds a girl that these bandit fucks sexually assaulted and cut up, and he's disappointed. Not in man's newfound nature to brutalize a member of the opposite sex. No, 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 no. Because, uh, and I quote, She could have been used two or three more times. You're a fucking hero, ladies and gentlemen. So these two walk the wasteland and the dog teaches history to Vic. You know, presidents, events of previous world wars, shit like that. But Blood wants them to go to some place called uh, Over the Hill, where everything is green and great. And this is kind of reminding me of the green place from Mad Max Fury Road. But I refuse to let this movie take precedence over this one because Mad Max Fury Road is a masterpiece. And yeah, 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 yeah. I know George Miller said that this was uh, the inspiration for Road Warrior. I don't give a fuck. Fuck off. So one night the two go to some village slash movie theater to watch porn. Yeah. Blood detects with his radar dinging dog senses a woman there in disguise. So Vic follows her out of the apocalyptic porno theater to some underground bunker where she's changing. He grabs her at a gunpoint, throws her in a mat, and explains to her that he's about to rape her. Which at this point, I pause the movie did a lap, took a breath, and hoped that wasn't about to be put on some watch list for watching this. Thankfully, the rapist stopped by the dog showing up and telling him that there's bandits coming. Vic and the dog argue, and this is when I kind of realized that only Vic can hear the dog. The girl has no idea who Vic is talking to. They kind of have some psychic link that's never, ever fully explained, so we'll just move on past that. They fight off the bandits and hold up in this little room to recover from their injuries. Suddenly, the girl, Quella June Holmes is her name, starts coming on to Vic. And I guess this could be like one of those, the woman takes the power back by initiating the sex. But I still feel icky because 10 minutes prior, this guy was holding you at gunpoint about to rape you. I know Don Johnson's a good looking man, but bruh. So after they bang like a half a dozen times, Vic and the dog uh, argue about whether to bring Quella along with them or just ditch her ass, which she overhears and gets angry, knocks Vic out, and runs off. Vic goes chasing after some place called the Down Under, which is essentially just another bunker. Blood the dog is like, fuck that. I ain't going down there. I'm old. I'm wounded. I'm a fucking dog. I'll wait here a little while, but if you're not back in a little bit, I, I'm out. So they say the goodbyes, Vic goes down to the bunker where he is immediately captured by these clown people. I don't know what else to call them. They they have clown makeup on, there's circus music playing. They're fucking clown people. So they bathe Vic, dress him up like Howdy Doody, and show him around this bunker which looks like a park festival with food and a marching band and barbershop quartet. Weird shit. This clown people society is run by Jason Robards. Now, Jay Robes judges over any clown face fuck who doesn't follow the rules. And he is also the boss of one Quella June Holmes, who was actually sent to the surface to bang and lure Vic down to Clown Town. I I'm, I'm calling it Clown Town. That that's just staying. Quella did it to get on the Clown Town committee, but Jay Robes is like, thanks, but nah, kick rocks. 
So they bring Vic in and tell him that the men in Clown Town are sterile because they've been underground too long. And they want Vic to be the breeder to keep the Clown Town population up. And Vic's like, I'm down to Clown. Line them up. But uh, they kind of want Vic to do it the unfun way. So they hook him up to a machine, milk his seed, and hand it out to Clown Couples. Just when all is lost, Quella June Holmes shows back up, rescues Vic, and they make a run for it. Now, Vic's just trying to get back to the surface, meet up with his dog, all that good stuff. But Quella's about that life. She wants Vic to kill everybody in the committee so she can be in charge. She's all like, I didn't bring you down here so they could use you. I brought you down here so I could use you. Clown committee's like, oh yeah? Well, you're both sentenced to death, so I'm going to send my giant robot clown to kill you now. They escape out the bunker and find Blood the dog. He's been waiting there. He didn't leave. He's starving. He hasn't eaten in two, three days. He's still injured. Uh, Vic's like, we got to get him food. He's, he's dying. And Quello's like, uh, there's no food, honey. We should just go. Even Blood is like, get out of here. There's no food around. There's no food around. And Vic's like, I got to save him. He's my buddy. And Quello's like, don't worry about him. I love you. And Vic's like, you love me? She's like, yeah, I, I love you. So Vic looks at blood, looks at Quella, looks at blood, looks at Quella, and they fade to black. And fuck ambiguity, Vic kills Quella and feeds her to his dog. And that's it. That's the movie. That's a boy and his dog. Or as I like to call it, what if Mad Max was a pervy rapist who had a dog who inexplicably talked and fucking ate people? You could have watched John Wick, Thor. You could have watched John Wick. Not the first one, it would have been the second one, all right? Don't give me that look.